Hey guys, Baron here, and today we're back for another video. It's been a while since we covered Legendary Origins, but we're back for it today, and this time we're covering another bulk of the Horn region, being the Weather Trio, Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. So guys, if you enjoy and want to support, show your support towards the channel, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the subscribe button, and share this video with a friend or two. With that being said, let's get into this. Now, what's interesting about the legendary trio of the Weather Trio is that it's based on Hebrew and Christian legends of beasts roaming the land, the sky, and water. And obviously, these concepts have gone into Groudon being the lord of the earth, Kyogre being the lord of the water, and Rayquaza being the ruler of the sky. And these legends go back a long time, and their designs can clearly be seen in the legendary beasts and not just the concepts of those, which are really an interesting thing. Starting with Kyogre, this Pokemon is a sea basin Pokemon. Its name in Japanese is Kyogre 2. Its abilities are Drizzle, immediately causing rain when switching Kyogre out into battle. This however changes to the signature ability Primordial Sea, while Kyogre is transformed into its primal form. This instead creates heavy rain, meaning water type moves are boosted even more than they regularly are with the Drizzle ability. Interestingly enough, Primal Kyogre is the only Pokemon to so far hold this ability, making it that much more unique. Kyogre's weight is 352 kilograms, or 776 pounds, and its primal form is 430 kilograms, or 948 pounds. Regular Kyogre's height is 14 feet 09 inches, or 4.5 meters. When it goes primal, however, this number rises to 32 feet 01 inches, or 9.8 meters, making this Pokemon longer than a London double decker bus. However, to me, this value is surprising, seeing that Kyogre is partly based on the blue whale, and those males of this species are 24 meters, almost three times as long. Anyway, this leads into what Kyogre indeed is based on. Kyogre is a clear personification of the sea, and both its design and concept. Its look is based on different types of whales, both blue whales and orcas. This Pokemon's origin to the orca is very clear since it has a spotted collar design, much like how the killer whale has spots of white in its black scales. Kyogre's name is a combination of the Japanese word kai, meaning ocean, and aforementioned orca. The name also involves the word Kaio, meaning King of the Sea, which interestingly enough, are the first two characters in the Japanese word for Neptune, being Kaiose. It should be mentioned that the name Kyogre is directly derived from the word Ogre, being a type of troll in Legends. Since this Pokemon truly is a monster of the sea, this is a very fitting name origin. Now, considering the connection to the Leviathan, this monster can be linked back to the Old Testament in the Bible, where it is first mentioned, the name being the Hebrew translation of whale. Funnily enough, the Leviathan in most depictions take on the form of a serpent, not really matching up with its name or its Pokemon from Kyogre. This beast does, however, share similarities with the world serpent from Norse mythology and dragons from various mythologies, which will both be covered in various forms in later episodes. In Hebrew legends, however, it is said that the Leviathan will be slayed by God at the end of times and that it has multiple heads, much like a Hydra. They are, however, peaceful creatures in our current times, living harmoniously under the sea. But this will change at the end of the times when it floods the land, much like Kyogre is shown to do in the games when summoned by Team Aqua. In Hebrew mythology, it is mentioned that the Leviathan were originally consisted of a pair of female and male, but that God killed and salted the female for future dinners. Apparently, when the Leviathan eats, it breathes fire underwater, causing the water to boil, killing all things in it. Damn! Wouldn't it have been cool to have Kyogre as our first water and fire type? I can understand why he would go vicious though. Having God save his girlfriend as leftovers wouldn't exactly make any boyfriend happy. In Christian mythology, the Leviathan is used as an image of Satan, 
endangering both God's creatures and by threatening the harmony of the waters. He is a demon of envy, one of the seven princes of hell corresponding to the seven deadly sins. Although based on our established descriptions of his appetite, I think he's more suitable as a demon of gluttony. In modern biblical literature, the edge of this sea monster has been erased, establishing him as a crocodile or a hippo. Not as cool, not nearly. As for modern inspiration though, the Leviathan has been put into literature as a clear inspiration from Moby Dick and the Kraken, which is a myth of a giant squid spread around the sailors of the earlier century. Groudon, on the other hand, is the continent Pokemon. It has the same name in Japanese, and it is a ground type. However, when it primarily evolves, it becomes a ground and fire type. Its abilities are drought, meaning it causes sunlight boosting fire type moves. In its primal form, and much parallel to Kyogre, its ability causes harsh sunlight, boosting fire type moves even more, called the Desolate Land, that is the ability. It also makes it immune to water type moves, making it way more capable to face up to Kyogre. In its normal form, it is 3.5 meters tall and weighs 950 kilograms or 2,094 pounds. In its primal form, it is 5 meters tall and weighs 999.7 kilograms or 2,204 pounds, making it the third heaviest Pokemon behind Cosmoam and Celesteela. With 5 meters, Primal Groudon is 3 fourths of a grown giraffe's height. This is kind of surprising too, since I expected Groudon to be bigger. Its name might be based on Groud and Don, however, which is Spanish for Lord. In ancient Greek, Don means tooth, so that might be another origin. Furthermore, Don is a common part of names of dinosaurs. Groudon seems to be a personification of the land. Since Groudon is a nemesis Kyogre, it is based on the Behemoth, which rivals Leviathan. However, unlike the Behemoth, Groudon seems more like a dinosaur instead of the hippo or warthog form that the Behemoth most often takes in legends. The name Behemoth has been symbolized by an extremely large or powerful entity due to this creature. In Hebrew scripture, it is described as a huge creature with massive strength. It is said to live in an invisible desert east of the Garden of Eden. Just like the Leviathan, his meat will be eaten by the righteous at the end of time. Kinda poetic, but kinda barbaric. According to legend, Behemoth's strength reaches its peak on the summer solstice of every solar year, meaning around the 21st of June. It then lets out a roar, scaring all of the creatures, and renders them less ferocious for a year. As a result, weak animals live far away from stronger animals, thereby actually creating the food chain. Without the Behemoth roaring, the animal would go ferocious and start eating more animals than humans, therefore breaking the chain. Rayquaza is a sky-high Pokemon. Its name, like Kyogre and Groudon, is the same in Japanese. It is a dragon and flying type in both its regular and mega forms. Its abilities are airlock, which negates weather effects. However, when it mega evolves, it gains the ability Delta Stream, creating a unique form of weather, and it causes moves that would be super effective against pure flying types, instead dealing neutral damage. This means that Mega Rayquaza's ice and rock type weaknesses are negated, meaning Re Mega Rayquaza is only weak to dragon and fairy types. Mega Rayquaza, along with Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y, has the highest base stats of any Pokemon. In its normal form, it is 7 meters tall and weighs 206.5 kilograms, or 455.2 pounds. In its Mega Evolution form, it is 10.8 meters tall and 392 kilograms, or 864.2 pounds. This means that Mega Rayquaza is about as tall as a telephone pole. Rayquaza is the personification of the sky, and in its design, it has clear links to that of the Chinese dragon and lindworm. Its name is derived from Rakia, the Hebrew word for a firmament, meaning the heavens. It could, however, also be based on a ray of light, often thought to come from the sky. It also may derive from Quasar, being a massive celestial object. It may also be derived from the Chinese words for Retsu, meaning violent or ferocious, Ku, meaning sky, and Sa, meaning seat or location. This can be taken to mean one that sits in the ferocious heavens. Rayquaza is likely based on Quetzalcoatl, the Aztec god of wind, air, and learning. This is a serpent with feathers who guard the sky. Among the Aztecs who believes are the most best documented in the historical sources, Quetzalcoatl 
was related to the gods of the wind, or the planet Venus or of the dawn, or merchants of art, crafts and knowledge. He was also the patron god of the Aztec priesthood of learning and knowledge. Quetzalcoatl was one of the several important gods in the Aztec pantheon, along with the gods Tialuc, Tzatzalcipoca, and Huitzalcipuxli. Two other gods represented by the planet Venus and Quetzalcoatl, Ali Tialuc, who is the god of rain, a Quetzalcoatl twin, and Psychopomp, who is named Kolok. He was a boundary maker and transgressor between earth and sky. He was also a creator deity, having contributed essentially to the creation of mankind. He also had anthropomorphic forms, for example in his aspects as Etalk, of the wind god. Among the Aztecs, the name Quetzalcoatl was also a priestly title, as the two most important priests of the Aztec Templo Mayor were called Quetzalcoatl Tamaxue in the Aztec ritual calendar. Different deities were associated with a cycle of year names. Quetzalcoatl was tied to the year Set Atacl, one reed, which correlates to the year 1519. Based on the fact that Kyogre and Groudon are based on the Leviathan and Behemoth, Rekwasa seems to be based on Ziz, a griffin like bird in Jewish mythology set to guard the skies. He is the ruler over birds, and he is truly massive. It is said that his ankles rest on the earth while his head reaches the skies. According to legends, a traveler once came across this. This is what the story says. It once happened that travelers on a vessel noticed a bird. As he stood in the water, it merely covered his feet, and its head knocked against the sky. The onlookers thought the water could not have any depth at that point, and they prepared to take a bath there. The bird the traveler saw was none other than the sis. His wings were so huge that unfurled, they darkened the sun. They protect the earth against the storms of the south. Without their aid, then the earth would not be able to resist the winds blowing thence. The fluid from the flooded 60 cities and the shock crushed 300 setters. It's certainly an interesting origin. So guys, that is going to cover it for this episode of Legendary Origins. You might notice that I'm wearing completely different clothes and that's because this video took a while to make. So if you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate it if you show your support through hitting that like button, subscribe to me, that subscribe button, and share this video with a friend or two. And of course, in the next episode, we're gonna cover up and finish the home region with the Oxus and Jirachi. So guys, I hope you're excited for that and stick around for that. But without being said that, guys, I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Before, until, and after, see you next time though. Stay awesome.